Talk about a constraint. <laughs> so there you are. Uh, the last three nebulae show no X-ray emission, although there's a, a slight footnote, NGC 6445, that's the fourth of five I showed there, actually shows an X-ray point source. So there's something interesting going on at its central star, either a companion or some kind of a magnetic activity at the white dwarf itself. Okay. So, I leave you with a list of half a dozen, if you count the mechanism that has not yet been named here, half a dozen potential PN shaping agents. Unfortunately, in this session, we don't get to hear about all of them, especially we don't get to hear about all of them in equal proportion. Um, but on the other hand, we've been hearing about them all week. So presumably, with the session we're about to get to, we'll be able to start integrating all that information together. So, I am done here. And um, I will ask for the first speaker, who is Bruce Malik. It's a great honor to be able to introduce Bruce. Joe, you're too modest. Yes, you're saying it's a great honor to have Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, the moment the galaxy community come to JET, you know, let's explain correlation between black hole and the Bulge mass, they are completely lost. Well, in that case, I would say we have a huge advantage in the sense that our simulations, I think, are very, very well developed and we have perhaps too many good observation constraints. Thank you, Joe. That was a great talk. I'm going to do pretty much the same thing, although in this case, the power of the dynamics. Get the slides up. Um, 